I watched your video when you went to a handsome girl, where their head preferred their head girl, Christabel. HRM Christabel. She was the, she was she was saying unconvincing, blatant, hilarious <laughs> lies. So I, I am of the view that a handsome girl will come for a tour in GSTS. <laughs> be back it's high schools africa time my name is gorgeous the goal is to give equal opportunity to all high schools across africa just so you can show us what you got just get in touch send an email phone call whatsapp just anything and i'll be right there today i'm heading towards a school here in ghana west africa it's a candy and i'm seeing a school called gsts is it overrated no dsts <laughs> this school this school okay stop bragging let's go What a fascinating view here at DSDS. Anytime I show up over here and famous goes into the sky, I am so fascinated. Today is the day the knowledge of GSTS and what they are capable of is going to be on earth. I have to meet up with the head prefect and everything is going to come alive. Now the head prefect, somebody call the head prefect for me, please. This one looks like a body gas I, I Let me keep quiet. I am panicking. Is everything okay? Now I'm so confused. I don't know who is the head prefect. Please, my name is Goshas from High Schools Africa. Kindly introduce yourself to me. Master Abutam Awini Amidini, the senior professor academics of this school. Wait, you call yourself master? Yes, please. Over here, master. Yes, is the title given to only prefects. Master? Yes, please. Amazing. Please, what's your name? I'm also Master Iman of Park Station, the senior prefect for domestic of this school. Guys, there is one at the back. I don't know. Okay, so there's one at the back. He is the senior prefect of this great institution, the head boy, the first gentleman, Master Desmap upon AJ. Hello, sir. Sorry. Amazing. Good to see you. Good to see you too. Um, am I supposed to come close or you come close? I have desired greatly to see you today and I'm so amazed how you were ushered in here. You are really a great guy. So sure. please introduce yourself to me. I am Master Opon Desmak Eji, the senior prefect of this great institution, Ghana Secondary Technical School. This is the guy we're dealing with here at GSC, an amazing guy. Now, people are so much interested in this school. This is a school that has produced great, great people and they are watching us right now. But the knowledge of the school is only limited to those who went through this school. Those out there have no knowledge about it. Can you tell me how awesome this great is? Where should we start from? But before that, wait. Do you guys sell food over here? Yeah, we do. Mr. Desmark, yeah. food before anything, do you agree? Sure. Please, do you pray before you eat? You do. Amazing. Uh, okay, I don't know. Can you do the same? Please no, I can't. This is so embarrassing. I don't know, but this looks so different. It, almost any school you go, there is a statue there that has the head of the headmaster or the... I don't know, but this guy is in blue pants lying down here. Sure. What is this? So this is Father Africa. Father what? Father Africa. You can see he's lying on the map of Africa. Why? Why is he here? Why not on the street? Why here? Why in this no. school? He can't be on the street. Why? This man roamed the whole of Africa in search of food, water and cell water but he found none. When you go to the land of GSTS, where we currently are, he found food, he found water, he found shelter. Is it a myth? It's not a, a made-up story or something? It's not a made-up story. But you see, histories are passed down, and this history was passed down. So it's not a myth, it's something that actually happened. It was passed down. What, what, what is the history behind this school? This school has um, the greatest history that any school in Ghana can talk of. The school was actually built for, in the demand of, um, the Britain colony needed people to work for the government at that time. So it was established in 1909. This school? This school was established in 1909. So you see, others are talking of 1948, 19 this. We are 112 years old, 1909. Um, it was built in Accra. It was first established in Accra, where Kimbu Secondary Technical School is now. Kimbu Secondary Technical School is now. And it was moved here in 1939. This guy? No, the whole the school, school, the school was moved here in 1939 because of the growing population of the school. The school, when it was established, had the name Accra Technical School. 
then it was changed to Government Secondary Technical School. In 1970, the name was then changed to its current name, that is Ghana Secondary Technical School. GSTS. GS, GS. The giant. We call our old students the giant and continuing student. Um, test camps. When you are in the school and you've not completed, you are a test camp. When you go outside, when you complete, you are called a giant. So the giant, when they say giant, giant is not for those that are in the school. It's not for those who are in the school. For those who have gone through the, the school, school and are yes, out, out and are... If you are in the school, you are a test camp. Test but once camp. you complete, you are a giant. And you respond by saying, stand tall. So when you say the giant, then we you say, stand tall. we stand tall. Yes. Do you know some of the people this school has produced? A lot. A lot. Can you mention some? Do you know um, Dr. Tribu Olanu? No, please. Have you heard of NASA? NASA, yes. Yes, have you heard of NASA's journey to Mars and other things? Yes. NASA needed to build a that rover. robot. That robot was built by GSTS board. The guy from GSTS? Yes, he's a giant. Are you kidding me? May you go search. You see, our motto is Mente e Manu. It is Latin. You see, MIT has the same motto. MIT. MIT. What is MIT? MIT, Massachusetts Institute of Technology. That school is not in Ghana. It's not in Ghana. And they have the same they motto. Have the same motto. You see, GSTS. it is the best university in the world so far as technology and engineering is concerned. And we have the same motto. I never knew that. You never knew. Unless you come to TSC. <laughs> Those out there in other schools, they made a mistake by choosing the uh, pre uh, present school. Do you get it? Yeah. If you get the opportunity to write BEC again, the best option, the only option, the most convenient option, the best school to come to is GSTS. If you pass by GSTS, I a lot. So a man said, if you go to SHS and you don't go to GSTS, have I missed a lot? You have. If you do that, then <laughs> you don't I can't tell you. And the history behind this, you know, we have one professor. He was the dean of university, the university at Florida, USA, completed GSTS. He went to MIT. MIT. He had four different degrees in four years. In Ghana, how many years do you take to get one degree? Four years. Four years, but he had four different degrees in the four how years. How did that happen? How did that happen? That is what GSTS stands for academic excellence. Bro, where is this place? I just ate over here. Oh, yes, sir. Um, this place is down coast. It's, it's what? Down coast. Down coast. Yes. Down coast. Yes. Down coast. Down coast. Abbreviated as the sea. The sea. This is because it's very close to the coast, as you can see from here. You can see the harbor view. That was the reason here. why the breeze was coming here like that. Like that. It gives you a, a convenient environment when you're eating. You, see, you have to get that appetite, that flair, something to whet the appetite for you to eat. Yes. And that is why we located the canteen to this place. Such that when students are here to eat, the appetite comes. They understand. So it wasn't previously here? Yes. Where was it's it at here. first? The sea. This city is the sea. But the reason why it was located there, the reason why they brought it here is because of the convenience the, the of the breeze. environment. Like Amazing. how you fare when you eat it. Yeah, sure. I, your colleague was like, this beans, they go well. They go, I of heard that course. comment. Of course. And it's going very well. Almost all the big guys who have gone, who have gone through the school, sure. they ate here. They did. Please, did you eat here? Put it in the comment box if you've eaten here before. They all ate here. All the great men. Amazing. School. We have 10 houses in the school. 10? Ten. 10 houses. Amazing. And this is Menza and Kobina. Kobina is house 9 and Menza is house 10. You see the way the building is? This is a project carried out by the government in Austin High Schools. Everything was so aesthetic. Hmm. That's why you see it like this. Hmm. We have the same project in various schools, but when you go there, our plan is different. Amazing. It's exquisite. Amazing. You see how the building Amazing. is? With the lawn in front of it, Amazing. a car park for the house master which you don't get in any other school, except GSTS. And this house, Kobna House, is named after one of the greatest giants of the school, the former director of Ghana Education Service. He also worked at a gold bank, a very self-achieved man. You don't get anywhere. I can't from wait to have a conversation GSTS. with him sure. about his time here on sure. this campus. Sure. What's his name again? He's Giant Kobna. This is our altar reservoir, donated to the school by the Giant 86 Year Group. They are called it Subuku. Subuku. You see, you know something? Subuku. Subuku. GSTS have the most vibrant students association. Are you kidding me? So far, I see nice school education is concerned. Not in Ghana alone. But a hunter man said they have the best. Never. They can't compete. You see, one thing is in Western region, GSTS, you don't have competitors. In Western region? In Western region. We don't compete with any school in Western region. We've left the competition to them. That is what the Latin world will say, ad nasium. You win something so much that it's, you don't want to compete in it again. The Latin will say ad nasum. That's what GSTS says we are up to. You win something so much that you don't want to compete it in again. Because whenever you compete, you don't have competitors. So this huge tank over here was given to you by Subruku, the 86 group. 
Where, where, where are we going next? Now you're going to the dispensary, the school dispensary. Oh, what is this? Oh, this is our mops for cleaning the dormitories. So you, you have see, mops? Sure. So when you go to other schools, so-called other schools, they use racks. Others use your school uniform. So you mean it. <laughs> but in GSA, you don't do that yet. Respect. Amazing. They, they, have, the they have mops over here. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> you want. This is so good. so good. So good. So if anybody come here, like a student, maybe a form one boy is here or something, and he has, he even wants to mop or something, they wouldn't, they wouldn't ask him, use your uniform, like those no, kind of no, things. No, no, never, that never. You happen. know where the mop is, you go for it, do the appropriate. Use the right tool for the right job. So now you're going to the school infirmary. infirmary. There's something very peculiar about this infirmary. I it's like how this place is decorated. The flowers are decorated. There is a scientific proof on flora, that is the plant life of nature, that when you're sick and you see flora like that, it, it goes a long way to boosting your immune system. Do you get it? Really? Yeah, by giving you an overhead of the virus. So that's the reason why you guys have so many yes. of them. So many of these flowers here. And these, to be frank with you, they are medicinal for medicinal purposes. Amazing. All these plants are for medicinal purposes. Amazing. Guys, yeah. this is the first time I'm seeing a school in February with a lot of lawns. And it's it's scientific, it's, it's medicinal. It's not sure. Amazing. Oh wow. Okay. First impression. Guys, so welcome to GSTS clinic. So this place is in February for GSTS. Yes. It's more than a clinic. And they have a seat for students. Some communities don't have this kind of clinic. What is here? This is it. What? What? You have this? Have you put Tell the truth. Is this place a private hospital? It's for the school. Student in when I talk, When I spoke about old students, when I talk about old students, the vibrancy of our old students association, you doubted, right? This is one of the projects of the old students. 93 year group. Students. Wish this is, guys, look, it's like a hospital. You can't get this anywhere in Ghana. No secondary school. No secondary school in Ghana. Guys, some can so ever talk about it. It looks like a private hospital. Look at the kind of beds they have. Of course, so many hospitals in the country don't even have this kind of hospital beds. It's quite unfortunate we met two students over here and they're receiving good treatment. treatment. Good treatment. This is GSTS. First class. This is actually a six hundred thousand dollar project. Six hundred thousand dollar project by the old students. So you can imagine the kind of commitment the old students have for the school. Once you pass through the corners of GSTS, you, 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 the, the attitude of giving, we train students to become givers. Back to the school. Back. You see, in terms of religion, GSTS is called God's Sons Training School. Amazing. So once you pass by the four corners of GSTS, wherever you came from you will become good to society. God will pass through you to do something good for the society. Guys, I'm so amazed. I'm so, 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 so amazed about this. This everything that is here. Look, giant. Giant, giant 93. 93. Oh. GSTS, SB. Is ben. this the same su? Subuku. No, this is no Shibuku. This is no Shibuku. SB, bed, 04, 2019. <laughs> and they got this one from Samatex. Or the bed sheet from summer Some days. Days. Yeah, GSTS. So just imagine if your kid come to this school and uh, prayer <laughs> adventure somewhere, somehow they feel <laughs> ill or something. This is the kind of bed they're going to have them on. Here yeah, GSTS. GSTS. So please, let's take a look at something here. This is isolation ward. No, we that's an day. isolation ward. Last year we had look at your washroom. For the 19 in the system. And you can't have an infected COVID. Please comport. Okay. COVID 19 infected person in the military can't sleep with them. So we have this place for isolation. People who have diseases that are transmitable. Not supposed to be. It's not supposed to be. Mangle with this. At this. Then they be isolated. Get them over here. So this, this is actually not an infirmary. It's an understatement when you say we have an infirmary. We have a clinic. It's a hospital. It's a hospital. <laughs> because even other schools don't have this. No school in Ghana can boast of a, a, a school clinic like this. Please, which other school in Ghana has one, one one amazing put it in the comment box. box. The next you saw the she's a specialist. I tell you not. Can, come on, look. can I tell you? The, the next time you get sick, you come to GS and receive treatment. You would like to force it again. Can I look at your washroom, guys. I love this place. I can you, see. You, you know some hotels don't have this. It is true. It is I have true. visited a lot of hotels. Please and check out my hotels online. Go and check the hotels I've been there and see some. Oh, so, yes, yes, <laughs> we don't, we don't <laughs> cook a lot. 
So wow, guys, this is the washroom. So student washroom here at GSTS. I was I wasn't expecting anything like this. So this is our record room. This for, keep for students, for students, records of patients who come here for treatment. It's so organized that once we come in, you mention your name, your house. The nurse is able to figure out where you are. So I spend time doing that. So if you want me to give you my card, I'm Desmark Opon. If I remember my card right now, I'm in Opon House. Where is Opon House? Here, I can just look through right now and give you my card. So you don't spend time, you don't waste any time in looking for the patient's card. When you go to hospitals, even those there in the record room can take more than five minutes looking for your card. But in GSTS, everything is super organized. You don't get it anyway. You don't get this anyway. Listen to GSTS. The, the specialist is here. She, she's, she's a nurse. Oh my gosh, she's here. I have seen interesting things about what you have here in this facility, and I'm, I, I don't believe it. I just don't. Please confirm it. Is this place a private hospital or a student infirmary? It's a student infirmary. It was an old infirmary, but in 1993 O-Level Group, they decided they took it upon themselves to renovate the place. Old student? Yes. So, the 93 O-Level Group renovated the place. I think we've been here for a year, almost two years. Amazing. Yeah. And you have set record keeping for the student? Yes. Yeah. We, we run the place like a normal clinic. Yes, so we have their folders, we have medication, and the school provides the medications and the old students as well. They also provide the medication. So we run the place like a normal clinic. But in case there is any severe condition, then we refer them to the nearest hospital. hospital. That's Sakradi Hospital. Amazing. See, let, let me talk to you. It is so amazing what I'm seeing here at GSTS. See, as old student, I am actually going through the schools because I just want you to have a sense of giving it back to the school and look at what old students of GSTS are doing for their school. It is so amazing what they've done so far. Which school do you actually belong? Where did you go to your SHS? This is the time for us to come together as people and then give it back to their high schools, that won't be bad, like what GSTS is doing over here. Ha! Now I am here with the headmaster of GSTS, Reverend Dr. Ken Obin. Sir, I am so amazed about what I found at your infirmary. They told me it was donated by the old student. I want to find out from you, aside that, is there any other thing that these giants have done that blows your mind. Let me tell you something. Just, just last week, uh, I was faced with a very serious uh, situation where the children are coming to write their exams. And I was told Is that- Is it the WASSE? Yeah, the WASSE, the current ongoing exams. And uh, uh, the head of the department came to tell me that some of the tools are missing and they needed the tools. And he brought a huge amount. And I said, ow. They are coming to do that exams on Monday. They should be replaced within that short period. They came to me on Wednesday. Monday, they are coming to write the exams, the practicals. Tools at the technical department. And they came to tell me that the, the tools have been stolen and all that. So, in fact, I was, I was, I was, I was, I was, I must say that uh, I nearly cried. That at this last minute. Now you have to consult the government. And that will mean passing through some bureaucratic processes, writing letters here, 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 and there. So I just wrote a letter. I, I, I come over to Macedonia. <laughs> I wrote a letter to the old boys telling them the situation, listing all the uh, tools that uh, the head of the department claimed they have stolen, been stolen, and sent the letter to them. That was Wednesday. Thursday, I received a call that they had received my letter and that I received. Uh, uh, response urgently. You wow. know, I thought it was one of those normal promises. Friday, they were here with expert coming to fix all the machines. Wow! And providing the tools. So amazing. In fact, I was what, so, so, so wait. So, I, I am I'm, telling I'm just, you, I'm surprised within the myself. shortest possible time, the speed with which they responded to this call to come to my aid 
was fantastic so maybe and the, overwhelming. Maybe the amount wasn't really that big. Huge sums of, I'm, I'm talking about technical departments. Tuesday. Tuesday. And look at the time. At the time they are writing their exams. You know, I just took over. Wow. And, 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 and for me to encounter such a cruel task, how could I have overcome this? And that would have meant that the student wouldn't have gotten to, to work with during the exams. But the expeditious manner with which they responded to this, my uh, uh, call, so fantastic, so amazing. I've never, never seen it, I, I, nor I, I, heard I, it. I have not seen the tools myself, but looking at what they've done at the infirmary, the best, because those best, even some hospitals I in am this telling country. you, they came with people to fix and those other things. I, I'm not a technical man, so I cannot mention the names of the tools. Providing the tools as per the quantities I wrote. Not that they brought some, they brought everything. Everything. See, everything. I'm not talking about money. Everything. How they were able to raise, I'm here to meet them. I'm <laughs> waiting letter to appreciate them. I'm here to meet them to, to talk about that. Sir, I, see, I, I would love to find out from them why they are so passionate about the school. If there is a way I can meet up with um, the ahead or I, I just want to know why they're so much passionate because you you guys have finished school and you you are gone long time you why see are you giving let me back tell you school? one thing they have a permanent eye here you see you see that building there the room there office they have an office here. office for the for the alumni the old boys they have an office here now let me tell you another amazing thing let's walk over to the place and let me show you something that let's go and see something please you see the a tower clock there. Uh, I was well, like Big Ben. Yes. Uh, I was told that it got spoiled in the 70s, 1970s. 1970s. 70s. And I was told that it used to regulate the activities of the school. It can chime and do all kind of things. Now that's when they came here, they told me they have bought everything new that they want to come and fix it. The giant. I'm telling you. Everything is ready <laughs> for them to reinstall this uh, uh, tower clock, you see. And I must be grateful to all the headmasters that have been in this school. In fact, I'm told I'm the 23rd headmaster. Wow. And each of them has contributed their quota to make this school very great. A special thanks to my immediate predecessor, uh, Mr. Kofi Acer. In fact, I, I appreciate the work that he has done and uh, I, I promise that I uh, also continue with this good work. Amazing. But the old student, kudos. I'm so grateful to you for the way you I, came I, I to am, my I, aid. I am so I don't know. I don't know if you can give the same testimony about your school or your old student. You see, this is the reason why we're going through the schools and we're trying to connect the old student back to the school so that they can give back to the school. Some of you have the desire to give back to your school, but you don't even know how to connect. So, so there, are, there are some of the giants watching us now who are not part of the old student association and they really wish they can be a part of it. How do they get in touch with? Oh, in fact, uh, those of them in Ghana, you are welcome to the school anytime. Uh, like I told you, they have a permanent secretariat in the school here with their own man in the office. So at any point in time, they can have access to uh, the office. Then those and the diaspora, they have the Global Giant Association there, and, and they have their executive. So if you link up with them, go to their web website, you can link up, whatever it is. As for me, I have come to serve you. So I'm always available. My doors are wide open for suggestions. My doors are wide open for help. Uh, like Oliver Twist, I'm calling for more. more I'm calling for more. <laughs> for sure. And I'll be very grateful if all of them come together to help. They, they are major stakeholders in, in the development of education. Amazing. And so we want to, uh, I want to use your media. In fact, I must congratulate you, High School Africa, Thank you, for the great work you are doing. Thank you, uh, Exposing the schools and letting even the giants who have been sleeping <laughs> to wake up. Sure. You see, and let me assure my giant, a giant is always a giant. A giant is always uh -huh. a giant. So, so, so they must, they, those of them who are sleeping must come on board Amazing. And, and, and come and help their school. And uh, we promise them that whatever resources that they bring here, we put to judicious use. For sure. Yeah. And also, I, I'm hoping to meet you, the giant, and have a conversation with you while you are so much giving it back to your school. This school is 112 years. Oh, amazing. The 112 on the 9th of August. The 1971 year old group, you can just imagine, 1971, they came to me. 
that they want to reconnect to their school. Wow. And that this coming Friday and Saturday, they want to be here. They wow. just mix themselves, some of them having nostalgic feelings about their school. I welcomed them and told them they could come. They could come. This is their school. Amazing. And you can see, I believe that some may be holding their sticks and be coming <laughs> and they'll be boogie. Please, when you I'll are be, coming, call me. I'll yeah, come with I'll, you. Be, I'll be praying for them. They should come so that we all have nice feelings together. Get together. Yes. Amazing. And that is it. And coming yeah. November, the 1976 year old group too are saying that they want to come back. Homecoming Amazing. of a kind. You see? It's a homecoming uh -huh. for GSTS. GSTS. And I can't wait to witness this. Uh -huh. What is happening now? Oh. You see these are honorable gents, they are coming back from the dining hall. Amazing. Having the assumptions, delicious, appetizing, tantalizing, <laughs> mouth watering, <laughs> inviting. Today is what? Monday. Today is Wednesday. Wednesday. What did they what, what did they what did they what say? Quality, quality cooked, not delicious. like the ones that not like the one outside where it's so near gutters. In Ghana we have been seeing that the size of the gutter determines the quality of the washing. Amazing. But this is cooked under hygienic conditions. So it is nutritious. Very sweet, as I said, tantalizing, appetizing, mouth would fit, invited. What the adjectives you can give it? Because that is what we say. Because, with because even I guess there are some of us who actually came to pass us by. I was just looking in the plate. In the plate. If they have some stuff in there, but they have actually cleared everything. Everything. GSTS. GSTS. This is a this is a dining section at GSTS. Yes. Uh, <laughs> would you let your child come to this school? Yes, completely sure. up to you. This edifice is so huge and beautiful. It looks like a shopping mall. What is this? Okay, so this is our ultra modern world class auditorium. Some it, schools call this assembly hall, but this is above the standard of assembly hall. So we call it the auditorium. <laughs> <laughs> it's far above the standard of an assembly hall. <laughs> so, so we it's call an, it auditorium. an auditorium. Yes. Amazing. Can we yes. see what is inside? So let's go. This an Guys, they have an extinguisher. You know, one thing, we, we are for security. The well being and welfare of students are attached to the administration. So anything can happen at any time. Nobody says it should happen, but nobody knows. At any time, we are secured. We have this for our protection. GSTS. And this is a big alarm. It's fire what? alarm. Fire alarm. Yes. Once there is any fire, it will blow an alarm to our link. For real. For real. GSTS actually oh has God. a core value. And oh this is God. it. Godliness, hard work, honesty, discipline, high drive for excellence, I'm love and friendliness, integrity. Are these guys living up to this expectation? I want to have a conversation with the headmaster. I, I want to find out. I have seen, I saw the core values of the school and mm -hmm. it is so amazing. Do you think these guys are living to that expectation? Thank you very much. You see, uh, core values are things that we want our students to imbibe, the community of GSTS to imbibe, so that it becomes part of their lives, even as they leave school. And yes, I will say that it is true. They live by them to the right extent. You know, the core values are godliness. Here in GSTS, we emphasize on the primacy of the spiritual so that we develop our connection with our maker. Nothing can so be achieved without hard work. It is because of the avoidance of hard part that makes reverse crooked. So whoever wants to be straight needs to be working hard. And so we instill to this student the sense of hard work. We want our students to be very disciplined. No wonder they have chalked successes with over the years. You can see the plaques and the, and the shields and all that. Let me borrow the words of the Danwell insurance. If it must be done, it must be, it must done, be well. done well. And that is what we have been telling the student, that they should have a taste for excellence. Mediocrity is out of our language and vocabulary. I don't believe in that. So I want, I want them to maintain the giant atmosphere. A baby giant is still a giant. Man is essentially a gregarious being. We're created to share fellowship. But we live in fellowship when there's love and friendliness. So, so the African used to live in a, a, a philosophy called commensalism. I live because you live, and because you live, I live. So, and all these things will, will be stronger when there's a bond of love. No wonder they have passion for their school. You see, when they are even out, they still want so to come amazing. back to their school because of the bond, the relationship they have built over the years. Keep telling them that you can change the name of your school. You can change, uh, you can change the name, your yeah. name that your parent gave you. You can change the uh, uh, citizenship. You can even change the color, but you can never change the name of the school you attended. And so uh, all the time, they should have that in mind to maintain that integrity. So when they are wearing the GSTS uniform, wherever they find themselves, they must remember 
that they keep the nobility of the school. Amazing. And that is integrity. I personally believe and I'm convinced that these core values are working in these students because of how their old students are super responsive and passionate about the school. I don't know if you're choosing any other high school to enroll your son or your daughter, I don't know. Say, so can you confidently tell people that if they really want a high school to get themselves involved with, they should choose DSDS? If they really they want to be successful in life, I didn't attend GSTS, but from what I've seen, so they should far. come to GSTS. Amazing. GSTS. If you want to be a giant and have these core values working in you, just look at the core values. When you're showing up in any school, just ask for the core values and see if it is okay for you. But so far, this is what you know about GSTS. Will you consider coming here? And look at this. There's a vision here. The school has a vision. The school has a vision. So this is the auditorium. Huh? Hey, please. Is set for examination. 2,500 capacity auditorium. 2,500 capacity auditorium. This is not just an auditorium. Yes. Those who can brag of this, the biggest in the country, the nicest of its kind. So this is the biggest auditorium in the country. In the country, the nicest for of a its high kind. school for high school. And it's here. And that is why we don't call it an assembly hall. It's an auditorium. That's why we call it an auditorium. There is a projector out there. I, 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 I always, everywhere we go, we find something to talk about the old students. The projector out there and the screen. We're all donated by the giants. So during entertainment, so those times when COVID are not setting and you have entertainment, just sit behind, relaxed, with the movie or whatever you're having projected onto the wall. Amazing. And we just watch. Offices, the senior master, the assistant, everything. I am pretty cool. sure this place can even be useful to people out there who want to host events. Oh, I was just about to say that. The Does regional director of education, whenever you want to meet the headmasters, this is the place. Whenever Nagrat, any association, any proper association in Ghana, in Western region, want to have a program, this is where they come to. Welcome to GSTS, the, the finest school in West Africa. Africa. Mr. Bosch, have you realized something about our campus? I have not. What? The, the benches. You have, have you seen so many of them. Yes, there's something peculiar about these benches. You see, in those times, before Isipon Stadium was built, all the schools in Western region used to have their intercollegiate. And that is why these benches were built. Whenever you come and they are playing the matches, and you need a place to sit at your convenience and watch as the match is being displayed, that is where you come to. When parents come for visit, wait, wait. So once upon a time, once upon a time, all and if you schools, ask now, as such now, all the schools in second they come. They come college. here because this field is actually bigger than the Sipong Stadium. Are you kidding me? I'm not kidding. This field is actually bigger. I didn't know that. It Please, is. did you know this? I never knew this. If, you, it, if is. it is true, just so all of us will be sure that it is true. If it is, if, if, it, no, if it is true, put it in the comment box. For real, for real, it is. And when parents come for visiting, you know, in some other schools, when you, when you go and visit your world, you have to stand for sure, under for the mercy yeah, of the sun. That one I, but I, I there's agree. another thing. Sorry, behind, guys. Beside every bench, there is this royal pump. This royal pump. To give shade. And there is also a history about this royal pump. So it's when deliberate. I'm, it's deliberate. Whenever we have an anniversary, miraculously, nobody knows from where, one of these ones sprout out. So if you count these, you get 112 of them because the school is 112 years old. And that is a history only GSTS can boast of. No other school can talk of this. So these trees, they are 112. 112. If you take time, you can count them and, and they are the 112, 112 years, years old. old. Every year, one of them sprout out. The commemoration of the anniversary. Miraculous. Nobody knows from where. Whether God plants it. I want to bring down my mask. For real. For real. Next anniversary. No, you I plant it. You deliberately plant it. It comes. It just... Nobody knows from where. You don't know if somebody comes to do it. God sends it. Or our forefathers of the school does it. But it is there whenever we celebrate our anniversary. That is so now it is 112 years old. old. The and school, we and we have 112 royal, 112 royal palms, palms over around. here. Yes, GSTS, GSTS, Mr. Desmark. Yes, Mr. Gosh. I have seen this. See this almost everywhere yes. on this field is covered with green grass, but this popular spot. Yes, why have, why have you guys left it like this? Okay, so Mr. Gosh. You know, there is something... Wait, there's a history behind this. Yes. A story behind this. A story behind this. GSTS, why? One, one secret, if you don't come to GSTS, you never find, and you can never find anywhere. Not, not schools alone. Anywhere in the country, anywhere in the world. 
GSA is the only place you can find this history. This is actually a tunnel. A what? A tunnel. 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 Wait, wait. wait. <laughs> there is a tunnel a down tunnel. here. Down here. Yes. That leads to the sea where we went to down coast. You see, according to the history of the school, this place during the first world war, that is 1914, and the second world war, this school was used by soldiers. So during the, their camp school. here, this school. So during their camp here, they created this tunnel. So when they have goods from the port, they don't go by the road. They take this tunnel to the sea where it went to. Then they go to the port. Also during the world war, as I said, students and staff members of the school partook in the war. For real? For real. You see, the population as at that time of the school was um, 85 as at that time. But when we resumed from the first world war, the students became 80. That is five of them sacrificed their life for the war. That is GSTS. We are born to sacrifice to our society. So if you, anywhere you are, if you want a place to come, we don't groom you academically alone, we groom you religiously and also to fit into the world. It's on the mission, the, the, it's the there, core value. The core value, that is it. Schools yes, don't have yes. And the field also was used as a plane takeoff because it was a camp for the Air Force. A plane takeoff. Take -off. This so field. during the World War, in Ghana, when the planes are taking off, it is in GSTS that this thing needs to happen. Uh -huh. So you see the field, you, the, the, the land you are standing on, it's not just a mere <laughs> land. Let's go. <laughs> So as God told Moses, I'm in the rightful place to tell you to remove your shoes because the land you are standing on is a historical land. Please take off your shoe. <laughs> See how the field is in the middle of the school uh -huh. where the structures are arranged around it. Uh -huh. There is no school in the whole wide world that can boast of such an aesthetic beauty. Famous God! No school in the whole wide world that can boast Amazing. of such an aesthetic beauty. Guys, look it's at the only view. found in GSTS. Where this we have our so field in the beautiful. center of the school, where the structure is nicely, neatly arranged around it. Amazing. At a go, you can glance through the whole school. But some other schools, and you have <laughs> if you're looking for your ward, you have the sea too. You have yes. the sea too, the breeze. This place see, is so this cold. This place is actually an island. <laughs> yes, yes, actually an island. And I call, I, this place is the home of opportunities. Amazing. Because we lie in between GMPZ headquarters and the port. And, and there's Gassem. Gassem. Boxite is mine behind us. Where do you want to go? What other school can boast of something like this? Amazing. No other school. See, I have seen something mm -hmm. over here. I don't know. What is this? This place was used as an Air Force camp during the First and Second World War. Uh -huh. So this is in memory of that. This is a copter bleed. You see those times they play this? Like the this? nose. The yes. nose. Yes, a copter nose. I don't know if the nose has a, a special name or a specific name, but the plain nose, that's yes, what this I know. That is it. This one? Yes. So as a memory, a memorial of what transpired on this year during the First and Second World War. Because there is no other school in this world that was used as a camp during these wars. So this is used as a memorial. Let me tell you something about this. You see up there, Regional Center for the Teaching of French. Yeah. The whole Western region, GSTS is the Center for the Teaching and Learning of French. So I don't simply understand why what? there are other French students in other schools. What, what, if I don't understand. What does that mean? Yeah, means this the is center the for center for learning of, of French. French. In the whole of the Western region, if you want the best place, the most convenient place, the place the best French teachers, it's in GSTS. For real? For real. So I don't understand why we have other French students in other schools. Uh, any student who offers French in other schools, it's a mistake. You have the chance to write um, BEC again and come to GSTS. You made, an, you made a, a mistake. So even if you've completed SHS already, you and have you to want come to, back to you experience have to come the French GSTS. And re register with GSTS. Without that, your French is incomplete. <laughs> you didn't study French. <laughs> Without that, you didn't, your certificate is invalid. Would you like to come back to yes, school? Yes, they again? have. <laughs> Amazing. Sure. That's my, I have seen a clock mm -hmm. up there. What is yes. this? It's what? This has two major purposes for aesthetic purposes and also for timing. Those in the port, during those times, they used to use it. They use binoculars. So what is binoculars? I'm binocular. so ignorant. Uh, I don't know how to explain it to you. A, a but telescope yes. or that kind of stuff yes. they used to. It's called binoculars. binoculars. Guys, it's called binoculars. If you never to, knew it today, you know. To watch the time here. This is symbolic to the one in London. You Big know there ben. is a similar thing in Big London? Ben. Yes. Yes. This is so symbolic to it. It's Big, it's big Wait, it's Big Ben, is it? It's, it's Big Ben correct. It's Big Ben, yeah. 
sure. So they actually put it there for time purposes. For time purposes. Was and also it, it, was it, it for the soldiers? Beauty. Yes, for the soldiers. And also it add beauty to this. You see when you come here, you were mesmerized, yes. you were bamboozled. Yes. You saw that thing, it was like, what is it? Wow. Amazing. That is what we need. Here we talk about can it. I, can, we, can we? Can we? Can you search it? I will tell you later. This is GSTS. Sure. We learn grammar, we talk grammar, and we know sure. grammar. Amazing. No others can compare. GSTS for you. I am, I am, I am so much interested in seeing what is inside your classroom. Or oh, is that bad? You will be amazed. Are you sure? You will be surprised. Are you sure? You will be taken aback. You will be shocked. <laughs> you see, GSTS, we, we believe in practicality of studies. Do you get it? Uh -huh. You see these flowers. I already told you our flowers are for aesthetic beauty, for medicinal purposes. When yeah. you come to these classrooms, they are used for educational purposes. Let me tell you something. This is a Khalifa Marginata. A Khalifa Marginata. This is Colin Pink. Colin Pink. This is Rio Discolor. Amazing. Or you can say Rio Discolor for biological reasoning. Amazing. Do you get it? We use this for practicals. Then I was coming next Friday, Pregage Right Biology. These are coming to come in exams. You're going to be questioned on it. And then is the situation where you've seen this with your eyes. So how are you going to feel? But do you think some other schools don't have it? They don't have it. No, no other school has this. If they have it, they stole it from GSTS. Note. <laughs> <laughs> Any other school have this solely from GSTS. Amazing. And there is our 12 unit classroom block. The classroom? With offices. You see, just from the view. I, I saw your video when you went to Hansman Girls where the uh, head girl was talking about the uh, classroom the and other things. First classroom. <laughs> Actually, you think she was, she was kidding. She was kidding. <laughs> because if you've not come to GSTS, you should not boost. Amazing. When you see what is in GSTS, Amazing. then you keep quiet. Amazing. Do you get it? Hey, Hansman. The rest of class. They say you should shut up. I already told you this project is a coming project. We have videos of it in the other, other schools. But the one done by this was built by a giant. Can we go inside? Mr. Watch, please relax. Let me tell you something. When you went to a hunter one, uh -huh. there are girls prepared to talking about dining and other things. HRM, Christopher. HRM, HRM. Let me tell you something. On this ground, on this very right place, the regional minister, Honorable Dr. Fabiana Ochi, Dafu Menza, mm -hmm. said, so far as Western region is concerned, GSTS has the best dining hall. But dining food. For real. For real. Has he, has he eaten rich, food here before? Regional minister said it. So he has eaten food here before. He said it. So now the question is the regional minister and the Hanjiman girls with it. Who is telling Whose report will you believe? <laughs> Whose report is right? <laughs> that is the question. HRM. So say so you see why yes you would take something over Yes. Here. When you went to a Hanjiman girls, uh -huh. I saw the drone always up in the sky. I don't know whether you're trying to prevent the drone from capturing a heap of rubbish or something. But in GST, yes, we have this culture, pick as you go. Every student has cultivated this culture and he said that when he's walking about, he see rubbish. You don't need to be told. The culture is for comfort. You take it up. You take it. And there's something that in you guys in do it here automatically. In the voice. We believe in a culture, a system whereby students do something without being told. That is psychic. You don't punish students to do things, Amazing. but they do it out of fear because they know their self conscious tells them that it is Amazing. right. And that is what the ATS is meant for. <laughs> Sanitation. So you can not seen any rubbish anywhere around this. Do you? <laughs> The guy picked that trailer there, he sent yes. it there. He sent it there to the skip because you don't really like that yet. GSTS. And there is no dust on the campus of GSTS. For sure. You know, one, there is no dust on the campus of GSTS. No dust so why should yeah. you can wait here, it's come again, white. come again, and should be the same. GSTS. Because there is no dust on GSTS campus. Amazing. And that is what we stand for. Cleanliness is next to godliness. Hey! <laughs> I just panicked. Wow. Wait, wait. You also believe that? You also believe your school is the finest in West Africa? Yeah. For real? Yes. <laughs> Guys, they are saying their school is the best school in West Africa. What do you, I don't know. But there are some schools, there are other schools in, this is just Ghana. What do you think? There are only two schools in West Africa. There are only two schools in West Africa, which is? This is the best school school. <laughs> you know, we don't limit ourselves to West region in Ghana. Amazing. We speak for the whole of West Africa. The this, best. This place looks so modern. Yes, it's modern. It is. You're I, quite bored. You're quite bored. I watched your video when you went to a handsome girls where their head preferred their head girl. Christabel. HRM Christabel. She was the, she was she was saying unconvincing, blatant. 
hilarious <laughs> lies. That so she was telling lies, eh? Hilarious, blatant, unconvincing. What did lies. she say specifically? Specifically, the classroom. There was carpet. I didn't see. Did you see carpet? You saw I saw. You saw carpet. I saw carpet. Oh, there was no carpet. You didn't see. Walk. You didn't. You didn't see. There was no carpet. I said there was no carpet in the classroom. Look around. We have how many fans do they have in one classroom? Four. They have we have four. six. Six. One, How many two, lights did they have? Bob's? One, two, three, four, five, six. I didn't count. We the have lights. twelve of them. Yes. In one classroom twelve here. Twelve fluorescent bulbs. <laughs> twelve Amazing. fluorescent bulbs. Eight Amazing. sockets. Eight sockets. Wall socket. Wall socket. Eight of them. In a situation whereby the students need to use laptop for studies, we have eight of the circuit. That is what we call a classroom, but from modern first class, world class, state of the art classroom. <laughs>
In, is it in Ghana or West Africa? West Africa. West Africa. So far, yes, it's concerned. We are epitome to everything in West Africa. Are you kidding? We don't limit ourselves to Ghana. Ghana is so small for us. We've conquered it. We are spreading our what, what makes What makes your cadet so special? You let me take you to the CEO, the commanding officer. CEO! I don't know if this is correct. <laughs> is that correct? <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> Bro, my name is Goshas from High School South Africa. Please introduce yourself to me. I'm cadet CEO, JP officer. Amazing. I have heard so much about your cadet force. What is so extraordinary about you people? As you can see, as it stands now, Ghana Security Technical School Infantry Cadet Corps is the oldest cadet in the whole West Africa. Oldest? The oldest. The oldest. And it's the premium, it's the backbone of, of cadetship in the whole West Africa. So other cadet, school cadet pay homage to you before? Yeah, they need to report to us. That's why we have the highest rank major, cadet major. In this school? In this school. And we are the only one expected to use this rank, cadet major. In the whole of West Africa? In the whole of West Africa. Why? It was established in the year 1956. This cadet. But I have heard that your cadet is older than Ghana Army. The females to be specific. A few? The females. The females? Yeah, the female section of the Ghana Army. Your cadet is older than the female section of the Ghana Army? Yes. For real? What is something peculiar or extraordinary that your cadet has done? Yeah. During the Second World War, the school that was able to provide men, personnel, to fight the Second World War, or GSTS. Are you serious? Oh yes, please. So is that is that why? So they say this school was was a military military men were. That's the Royal Air Force. They were here at the end and they were training over here was a barracks. So there was a tunnel that leads from the field of the school, it passes through the square, leading to the harbour. So here was specifically military. It was a military based area. So we shouldn't be surprised missing the oldest cadet over here. So do you have? Um, you see, some cadets yeah, have yeah. tools and all yeah. that. You yeah. can have some. Yes, please. What just happened is so interesting. We're trying to get inside the room, but you just can't get in like that. They say they have to play a song as a form of greeting or something. So that is just what happened. Now we can have access to enter the room. What is this is an it's an ancient boot. This was these boots were used to fight for the Second World War. This boot? This boot and this moral bags. Fortunes and also has the moral bottles. Moral bottles? That, that, what, that, that, why is it called moral bottles? Yeah, as a military man, everything about you is supposed to be in a military in a moral form. So when they are tired, there, there's a water in the moral water. Taking the, ah, morale. the morale. Oh, ah, the morale. okay. Amazing. Amazing. The morale cap, the morale boot. And these are your uniforms. This looks just like the Ghana Army. Yeah. So realistic, like. This seven battalions. Seven battalions. Can wow. Can I take one? You can carry on then. Is the old model of the MK17. The M? MK17. MK17. What does MK17 do? Yeah, the MK17, it, it has its own part. It was being used for during the Second World War. So, as I said earlier on, how the whole student, the massive role they play. So, when the military men were leaving, they had to hand over their raffles, their items, which involved this raffle to us. So, we use it and we've been, we've been protecting this raffle for, for the, years. So the Second World War, this was what was used to fight. Yeah. It works. This 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 school cadet is not just a, just an ordinary school cadet. Look, if if I don't know, so many people out there have interest in joining the army. And if you really want to join the army, like really train for cadets, that you're not going to have any uh, problem joining the cadet. Personally, I say choose GSTS. I don't know. I've not been to a lot of schools yet, too, but they are telling you this is the best in West Africa. So when you show up over here, you get a full cadet training and you are almost a soldier. And amazing. It works and it's so heavy, super heavy. He did something like, he did something like this. Mm -hmm. 
Wow. I'm so impressed about the Akadet and what it stands for. This is so much salute for GSTS and all the saints, the giants out there. When you do something consistently for 100 hours, it becomes a profession, not a passion. When you enter into GSTS Cadet, you believe that you are working, it's your profession. So you need to do everything, you need to try as much as possible to be ready for the service. That's so this school basically produces engineers, engineers and, and military men. Amazing. Amazing. GSTS. Thank you, bro. Thank you, sir. I'll use the standard sword for pre any Standard? Standard sword. The standard sword. That you can find in the Ghana Army? Yes, please. You use it over here? Yes, and This is the only school that has it? Yes, please. So if somebody wants to join a cadet, like really become a soldier, and they're choosing of SHS to oh. start from, would, can you confidently say they should come here? Uh, when you enter into the Ghana Army, take it all the security units, being in the police, the custom, the immigration, Air Force, Army, a whole lot. Ghana Security Technical School, the highest producer of personnel, ready for the service. Are you serious? Oh, gentlemen, I'm speaking facts. Literally, what you are trying to tell me is that the Ghana Armed Force yeah. or the security service yeah. we have, yeah. the Ghana. men in there are populated by students from GSTS. Yes. Is that yeah. what you're saying? Yes, please. And even US Army recognized GSTS cadets. I, I am super ignorant about what he's saying. I don't know if that is true. If it is, and you can testify to that, please put it in the comment box. But I am seeing your men back there, yes. and I'm also seeing these guys in this this red uniform. Who are they? These are regimental band. What does that mean? Ghana regimental. They are they are they are trained specially to play regimental songs. So they can actually play something. Yes. Yeah, the, the uh, Ghana Second Technical School Regimental Band is the only band in Ghana to play the Ghana National Anthem on a correct note. On a correct note. And this was not done by anyone. The president of the country was the recommended uh, Ghana Second Technical School cadets. So other schools play the Ghana National Anthem, but not, not on a correct note. But this school can play it accurately on, on the correct, correct note. note. <laughs> I'm so amazed over here. Can they play something? about this school and the kind of information it has. This is so interesting. This school is noted for academic excellence. To be honest with you, TSS has produced the best ever WASI student. Amazing. The best student WASI has ever got is from GSTS of the 2014 year group. And we have a very good teacher to student ratio of one is to four. One teacher takes care of about one, four students in a per class. Wow. That is, the ratio is very nice to the extent that every student gets opportunity for his needs and wants to be met. And that mm -hmm. is what GSTS stands for. It gives us an outstanding ability in terms of academic work. And it's what amazes you to know that um, five, for five years running, GSTS has been the best science school and for that matter, the best worst school in Western region running. We've won the title for the last five years and we still continue to win it. And always we come out with 100% pass in the WASI examination. And this year is going to be no exception. We're going to soar higher and higher. This year is definitely not going to be an exception. You've seen and you've heard about these test scans, what GSTS actually represent. Wherever you are in West Africa, if you're choosing of a high school to be, would you consider GSTS? 
Until then, I'm going to see you. You can also put it in the comment box which other school you want to hear about. I will not hesitate. I will not hesitate to go there. Until then, if you do appreciate what you're doing, do give us your endorsement by hitting the subscribe button. And of course, share this video to showcase GSTS. And I'm going to see you again very soon. And bye! <laughs>